In the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 10, you got this interesting opening verse and I want you to listen to it. It says, dead flies putrefy the perfumer's ointment and cause it to give off a foul odor. So does a little folly to one's respect for wisdom and honor. Interesting passage. What, it, what it's saying is, is something like this. A small amount of foolishness can poison a lot of wisdom. Wisdom requires making choices, not just responding with your emotions, your, your feelings, or reacting without knowing the whole story. He says just a, just a little bit of foolishness or a little bit of false information can really destroy the whole thing, like flies in a big vat of perfume. See, just like dead flies can spoil a large amount of something pleasant, make perfume become foul or unpleasant, a little foolishness can create harm or spoil your future, your legacy, your influence. I think about the story of David when I think about just a little something can destroy everything. Turn that which was a great, wonderful aroma into a foul, putrid smell. David walking up on a balcony. And there's, there's two words used. It says he, he saw and then he gazed on this woman. First he just saw her. But then he stopped and gazed. That little transition between maybe seeing someone and then allowing yourself to be drawn into that situation spoiled the whole legacy of David. When people think of David, sure they think of Goliath, but many times the main situation in David's life, where his family began to go wrong, where his kingdom began to falter and fail, where he himself made excuses and covered up and a prophet had to come and point him out, well, it was that small little look in that gaze that led David into one of the darkest times of his life. Like a little thing can grow into a giant thing and can create a giant mess. That's the story of this in Ecclesiastes chapter 10. And it's a great warning for you, for me, to watch out for the little things in life that can spoil all the big things that lie ahead.